When it comes to USB Type-C cables, I'm pretty sure we all experience this. Whenever we plug in our device to charge, a couple months or weeks later, they break. They just randomly won't charge or support data transfer. And so, right now, when all these latest devices are, are now supporting USB Type-C, finding the right USB Type-C cable can be very difficult. Right now, if, I bet you, if you go on Amazon, type in USB Type-C cable, you're gonna get a huge selection of different manufacturers and brands that you're probably not familiar with. And the last thing you wanna do is pick yourself up some of these cheap Chinese knockoffs that won't even last quite a while. So, I got reached out by this manufacturer who gave us their USB Type-C cable and already, honestly, first impression, since I saw this bag, I was like, great. This could be easily one of those cheap Chinese USB Type-C cables I was telling you guys about that won't even last a while until they start malfunctioning and just not working properly. But after looking at this ratings that it had on Amazon, it was actually getting good amount of ratings. So I was like, what the hey, let's go ahead and take a look at it and give it a shot. So this product is listed, let me get the keyboard out of the way. This product is listed for about $10. And from what I've seen on the photos, it comes included with this traveling bag, another zip bag. So two USB Type-C cables, and you get one of these. It looks to be a micro USB to USB Type-C. How would this work? Uh, I guess this is like an added bonus. Yeah, it's a uh, micro USB. That's a USB Type-C focus camera. Focus, bear with me. Just take my word for it. It's a micro USB back here and a USB Type-C. But I don't understand how would this work because this is a uh, USB-C. This doesn't connect and this doesn't connect. Oh well, we'll skip that. So the specifications for these cables, they're USB 3. They support Qualcomm charging, which means they're able to have up to three amp current to charge your device, which we're gonna go ahead and test out. They are nylon braided, like more expensive USB-C cables like the uh, anchors, and they feel very nice with aluminum ends. And they also have this reinforced plastic ends where the cable and the USB port is. I don't know what this part's called, but this part's reinforced. And they're about six feet long, which is long enough to have it plugged into any device. The cables do support data transfer up to five gigabytes per second speeds, but unfortunately I don't have an SSD or an external drive that's able to achieve these speeds. But we are gonna be testing the voltage with this USB Type-C voltage meter to see if it's really telling the truth. Now, what we're gonna be doing is seeing if the three amp current is correct and we'll be doing a strain test, which should give us an idea how durable these cables truly are. I started the first experiment by using my MacBook Pro because I've done past experiments on it and I know for a fact this Mac loves to draw a three amp charge when the battery life is below 50%. And doing a quick time lapse, this USB-C cable wasn't even coming close to the three amp it claimed. It was stuck at 2.35 for like the longest time and it wasn't moving or budging. And I did have it hooked up to this Qualcomm battery bank, which is able to achieve three amp charge. And to demonstrate that it does, I unplugged this cable and swapped it with an anchor cable that I know is able to achieve this rating. And right away, it was already at 2.90 because under the same exact situation, this cable was able to reach close to three amps than this one. All right, so now we're outdoors. Here's our little USB-C cable. You know, just twist it up. Make it get really tight. Bend it a bunch of times. Because these are the kind of things that will happen over time. Normal wear and tear will pretty much destroy it like this. If it can survive this, then it's a durable cable. But if not, well, that's just a waste of 10 bucks. Because uh, I'm here to see if these are actually durable cables. I'm not like trying to forcefully break it, not yet. Just try and get it super tangled and like twist it up. There we go. Here's our solar battery bank we used and we're gonna be using it to charge our almost dead Nintendo Switch. Go ahead and plug it in like so. Power the bank on. And it's charging. Cool. 1.5 amps. It's a Nintendo Switch, it doesn't really draw that much. So, so far it works. It's working well. Let's go ahead and 
do some more torturing. Go ahead and take the little ants right here and like literally go nuts. Cause usually that's what commonly breaks. Ooh, that just looks nasty. Plug it in here. It's broke. Oh no, it's, char it's charging. Yeah, 1.5. It's really hard to see that reflection, but it is. It is indeed charging still. And I'm surprised because this is actually kind of twisty. You can see that, yeah, that's nasty. Final test. If it can survive this, then durability wins my award. I'm just gonna put this on here. This is like a popular anchor test. So I weigh roughly around 150 pounds and I'm literally gonna hang on it. Hopefully I don't fall. All right, ready? Ugh. All right. <sighs> Let's see if it can charge it now. I felt it stretch. It's charging. Yeah, it's charging. It's definitely charging. Ah, uh, reflection is really bad. It's really glossy. Take my word for it, it's charging. One last time. This time I'm actually gonna hang for a good 10 seconds. All or nothing. <sighs> I'm afraid I might fall. Okay, ah, uh, that wasn't 10 seconds, but I don't wanna fall on my butt. All plugged in, it's charging. Okay, so from the tests and experiments I done, I, get, I could say this is definitely reliable. I mean, it's already messed up and I'm surprised it's still working. So durability wise, yeah, I could confirm this thing should last you for quite a while, but it doesn't perform as it, how it's advertised. It's saying it's able to put out at least three amps. From our experience, it wasn't even coming that close. The anchor cable you saw there was providing more juice. But if you're just looking for a cheap cable, I mean two for 10 bucks and that weird micro USB to USB-C adapter, eh, it's a cool bonus. As well as the traveling bag, which personally I'm not gonna use. But I do like how it uses this little uh, rubber band end right here. That makes carrying it around really convenient. But there you guys have it. That was this review slash experiment of the USB type C cable. So if you're in need for one, you know which one to look at, possibly add on your shopping list. I'll have a link to this one in the video description down below. So if you guys like this video, you know what to do, smash that like button. If you don't, well, you're dead to me, just kidding. But until next time, hope to see you guys on the next video. Peace.